to that, too. Something that you can maybe do upcoming this weekend or a future weekend. Many people, you know, you've passed through the cornfields in our area, and you know the stalks are growing really, really tall. Yeah, and for one area farm, that means it's time for one thing. It's corn maze time. So Ryan Vetter is out in the White House. He's there this morning to tell us how this year's uh, theme features a big celebrity here in our area. Good morning, Ryan. Hey, good morning. It is chilly, so... The hint of fall is in the air, so it is time for a corn maze, isn't it, guys? <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I suppose so. I don't know. It's I actually season. took my jacket off, and I should have kept it on because I'm a little chilly. And, you know, speaking of road construction, Scotty and I were on our way out here, and, and the bridge is out on uh, Mommy uh, Monclova Road, and I told him we should Dukes a Hazard the live truck over it just because we were running late this Something morning. Something tells me that wouldn't work just so well with that big live truck. I don't know. Probably not. No, we are out here at Duke Wheeler's. I like to call it the Duke Wheeler Compound. You know, we got the Christmas tree farm, the butterfly house, and starting on Saturday, we have a little corn maze out here at the butterfly house. And, you know, I'm impressed with the way they can do these little designs and things. And this year, it's very special. It's a crystal bower socks. We are here with Duke. First of all, Duke, how'd you come up? Why did you decide crystal bower socks? That was a, an idea my daughter, Christy Wheeler, came up with. Uh, she went to the Mud Hens game, saw Crystal Bower Socks, and said that, boy, she, there's a girl that's really an inspiration for Toledo and for all of us. And now we're looking, uh, Scott is showing the, the picture of it back there, and it, it is uh, scripted, or it's in script. How, is that GPS, or how do you do that? It is GPS designed. We have an artist draw it. We enter it into a computer, and then we drive a tractor around with a, a rototiller on early July when the, knee, the corn's knee high, and we just drive for 12 to 15 hours and uh, create the design. All right, and I'm always cons I'm always wondering, like, as far as when the corn is done, I mean, can you still harvest this corn and use it afterwards? Yes, we will harvest this corn middle of November. There is loss of corn because of the trails. We have seven miles of trails, but uh, we cross-plant the corn, so the quantity is about the same as, as a normal planting. All right, and if people come out here and want to take the, the corn maze, um, what else do you have for them to do out here? Well, on a day like today, it's just a beautiful day. Uh, the corn maze is seven miles of corn maze and 16 acres. Uh, we also have campfires grilled hot dogs we sell pumpkins it's just god's creation out here and it's just great to come out and enjoy talk to friends and neighbors and listen to some music as well now have you ever lost anybody in the corn maze we have lost people for about two or three hours it's usually employees though <laughs> uh, we do not leave until the last car is out of the parking lot all right so that is that is that is comforting to know that if uh if you do get lost in the corn maze they will come and find you and they will not leave until they find you so you know somebody like me who would get lost it could be a couple days and i guess i'd have to start eating the field corn to to survive and and uh you know corn's not on my diet but you know if i have to i have to so coming up this weekend it's out here at the uh, butterfly house the corn maze crystal bower socks you can walk through crystal's name hey mr vetter you you sp you spoke of corn not being on your diet what are you down to now friend like what have you lost so far uh 63 pounds Whoa! <laughs> better yeah. that's and awesome good times, eh? you tell mr wheeler there too he had me lost a couple uh hours last year in the walleye corn maze too so i finally found my way out though Okay, so I'm not as, as bad as you then? No, I mean, it, 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 was, it was, well, I went without a <laughs> flashlight in the middle, and it was dark out, so. Oh. oh what were you trying to do? Well, were you trying to channel the aliens smart. that made the, the... I just wasn't that, thinking. That means, I'm, that means I'm a lot smarter than you, because I would take the flashlight. <laughs> All right. And, I, and I'm blonde. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ryan, we'll check in with you in just a little bit.